In his fifth State of the City address today, Fort Wayne Mayor Tom Henry spent some time highlighting some improvements and things that are going well. But he also announced some changes that you could see soon driving downtown. News Channel 15's Adam Widener was at the State of the City address and joins us now live from News Control. Well, Heather, it's another effort in downtown redevelopment. Mayor Henry wants three changes that are not only supposed to help traffic, but also make the city more appealing and safe. There are two words you've been hearing a lot from the city of Fort Wayne lately, downtown redevelopment. Today, Mayor Henry announced some more changes, this time taking it to the streets. The first idea is to narrow Washington and Jefferson Boulevards. The city wants to make more room for pedestrians. They would be three lanes, which would allow more walking room and drop-off lanes. Our traffic studies show that it will only add about 60 seconds to your travel time. In fact, right now, it's down to two lanes in front of Harrison Square. Uh, and we haven't received any complaints at all. So going back to three lanes, we think would be okay with our citizens. Leaders at Parkview Field are excited about the idea. I think any time that you can make access to a facility easier, it certainly benefits that facility, whether it be the embassy, the Grand Wayne Center, the botanical, uh, the library, or Parkview Field. Nearby, the city hopes to make Fairfield and Ewing two-way streets between Baker and Superior. And finally, a roundabout, where Superior, Wells, Ewing, and Fairfield all come together. When you have a five-legged intersection, it's kind of difficult to, to control it with the traffic signal that we have out there. So we felt that we needed to at least look at a roundabout. All in the name of downtown redevelopment. I think that just improves the experience overall for people in general that are coming downtown. In Fort Wayne, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.